I'm Lynn Cantwell. I'm chair of Sport Ireland's Women in Sport Committee. This presentation is about gender equality in Irish sport. I speak on behalf of Sport Ireland's Women in Sport policy. To begin with, we will discuss the baseline facts and figures, then discuss what research says are the challenges for women's involvement in sport in Ireland. We will outline work being done so far to implement Sport Ireland's Women in Sport policy, and finally, what recommendations we would make to the citizens of Ireland aiming to progress gender balance in Ireland. Sport Ireland is the authority tasked with the development of sport in Ireland. Sport Ireland's vision for women in sport is one where women have an equal opportunity to achieve their full potential while enjoying a lifelong involvement in sport. Sport Ireland commissioned a body of research in 2018 exploring the landscape of women in sport in Ireland, what the blockers and barriers were that existed and what recommendations are necessary to address this. The policy aligns with the government's national sports policy and the national strategy for women and girls. Our women in sport lead is Nora Stapleton and it's supported by the Women in Sport Committee. There are four pillars of the policy shaped by the above research and these pillars are leadership and governance, coaching and officiating, participation and visibility. I will start by outlining some of the facts and figures. 28% of board members of national governing bodies which are sports are women. 14% of chairs of these sports boards are women. 30% of paid CEOs across the NGBs are, are women. That is eight from 27 NGBs. 34% of coaches in Ireland are women, but this is mainly reflective of under age, age grade level in sport. And the figures drop significantly into high performance sport. And these similar figures are re reflected in officiating. You'll see other stats on the slides for the other pillars in our policy for you to read. When looking at the challenges impacting gender equality in leadership and public life in sport, women and girls cited the below factors as significant in affecting their participation. Confidence, fear of being judged, time and prioritization, lack of time and flexibility due to children and family life, Motivation, what motivates women to be involved in sport is often different to men's and a better understanding of these factors can facilitate greater participation. Influ influencers, parents, teachers, role models, school and physical education, strong programs necessary to encourage girls to play and stay in sport and sports structures. I will now outline the goals of the leadership and governance pillar of the policy and the work being done so far. The goals are to progress towards greater gender balance in board membership of funded bodies and provide a pathway for women aspiring to become leaders of funded bodies. The work being done so far is we've been recognizing and rewarding sports who achieve gender diversity on a board level. Sports now report annually on their board makeup in their funding applications. We're providing greater gender diversity training to sports and developing and investing in leadership and mentoring courses for women and girls, mentoring and reporting on gender equity board progress. In 2018, the figures stood at 24%. They rose to 29% in early 2019. And most recently, the review sits at 28%. And also the Federation of Irish Sport are developing a board recruitment service. We'd like to see the Citizens Assembly recommending that our national sports policy outlines the NGBs to achieve 30% gender balance on boards by 2027. The government recently amended their targets for state bodies to achieve 40% on their boards. We, we recommend that our sporting bodies follow this good practice. We followed the review of the good governance code in, in 2021 we recommend the Citizens Assembly request for gender diversity to be given proper weighting in the new version of the code in 2021. 
and that Sport Ireland may use funding criteria to support gender equitable change on their boards, but they first need targets to be set. Thank you for the opportunity to include sport in this gender equality conversation. We feel strongly about the essential influence of women operating and leading being seen in sport and hope the Citizens Assembly support our insights and recommendations. Thank you very much.